Al-Qaeda has never been gone from Afghanistan. Yes, the tour of Bora when uh, Osama bin Laden was there shortly after 2001, after the September attacks, but they have never left Afghanistan. They have been supporting the Taliban. They have family relationships. They have even properties in Afghanistan. So we are looking into a process that has a, an operation um, that has already started it. The United States is at a great risk right now. I could tell you that uh, there is a greater freedom for the Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan. So we're looking into months to uh, years, a period of rising, not I would say more of rising and rebuilding. For the Taliban, look, it's really, really hard to cut ties with Al-Qaeda because they not only ideologically they're linked, but at the same time, family relationships. And I think ideology is the most important one when it comes to their own Islamist extremism and principles of jihad. Well, Afghanistan has once again turned into a cradle and a battleground for terrorism. So when we talk about freedom, we're talking about a regime uh, that are back in power that was uh, that were helped and formed by Al-Qaeda, by Osama bin Laden, by rich uh, Gulf state donors. We're talking about economic freedom. We're talking about physical freedom. We're talking about a fit footprint in Afghanistan. Uh, there are differences between the Taliban um, and ISIS, both uh, you know, in, in terms of ideology, in terms of principle. When it comes to ISIS, they have their own operations. Al-Qaeda and Taliban are so li linked closely. So right now, we have about 14 terrorist groups operating in Afghanistan. ISIS and Al-Qaeda, the two biggest ones, with a, with a friendly Taliban regime back in power. To them, I think Afghanistan is a great footprint for them to turn to, into this jihadism for ISIS Al-Qaeda. That's why it's, it's a greater risk for the region. Right now, what the U.S. has is words of Taliban versus soldiers and intelligence and CIA operatives that have stations with assets in Afghanistan. So it's going to be really hard for the U.S. to uh, monitor and track and target these terrorists. If we're talking about footprint in Afghanistan, U.S. has zero, I would say, to my knowledge, intelligence, that not all the troops are gone. Uh, and, and I think when it comes to intelligence, it's, it, at this time, it's just uh, the uh, horizon intelligence and uh, that, could, that could work and benefit. And at the same time, allies uh, in the region that could help the U.S. government and, uh, in terms of gathering those intelligence. Uh, other than that, it's, it's impossible. It's really hard. When it comes to regional, when it comes to the world, we're talking about actors such as China, Russia, United States and the European Union, Australians and Canadians, all of these countries. I think uh, for them, the, first they have to work on some sort of strategy, a grand strategy in terms of counterterrorism, uh, preventing Afghanistan from turning into a safe haven, a cradle for terrorism. When the Taliban in 1996 uh, uh, captured Afghanistan, uh, United Arab Emirates, uh, Pakistan, and Saudi Arabia, the three countries recognized the regime. Well, they're still supporting them. I think one other big country that influential in the Taliban is Qatar. Um, the Qatar uh, government can play a significant important role in bridging the gaps, helping the U.S. government and international community uh, while monitoring the Taliban. And also following that is Turkey. Uh, these two countries, along with the Pakistan, has more pressure on the Taliban. Another chance, another time for the world is to work diplomatically, economically, and militarily. Now that the U.S. does not have any soldiers in Afghanistan, they should sponsor, uh, they should uh, 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 pressure spend the state sponsor of terrorism and monitor the Taliban and look at look at actions versus words because words and manipulation and persuasion of people is the easy way for the Taliban and that's what they have been doing the past 20 years if we do not pay attention if we do not stop al-qaeda and isis from regrouping in afghanistan and if we do not stop Taliban uh, from their uh, formation of a regime friendlier to al-qaeda and friendlier to isis then I think that, that that is a problem, and that problem is going to come to the United States and other countries in the world.